do. So, we're about, I've lost track, but I think we're about uh, a month, just over a month in quarantine, generally speaking, overall, globally. Um, it's interesting when I do pop on occasionally online to see, especially on YouTube, to see the regular folk and the celebrities and everybody else, uh, what they do in this time, with, in this lockdown. And it is a lockdown, um, an unwarranted lockdown. But I won't, that's not why I'm making this video, so I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> I really just want to get into remind you of what your inner voice is probably telling you, which is use this time, don't waste it. We don't know what's coming. We might pop out of this in a much better way than we're, we're all thinking. Maybe it might, maybe this is just the beginning of our struggles. Who knows of how this is really going to play out at this point. Um, we have ideas, but, you know, who knows? No one can know. So if we're stuck here in the unknown, which is a test because that's mankind's greatest fear is the unknown. It really is. All other fears are just, fears are just uh, really point to that fear. It's death, the fear of death, everything else. It's really just points down to human. Most of our struggles, if not all our struggles, comes from the mind's need to want to control and to convince itself it knows everything when in fact it doesn't know anything this is all magic and mysterious so now we're all thrust into the into a long-term unknown where we don't know if if we're going to be on the streets we don't know if we're going to be fed we don't know anything with the way things are declining with the world shut off for so long so we have no idea so we're being placed into a isolation tank of unknown so of course we're seeing people are starting to lose it um we're certainly seeing the celebs losing it. We we're certainly seeing how, uh, especially with the actors, how un how uncreative they actually are, <clears throat> which is ironic because the little people are so creative, yet our creativity is pushed down. And we're starting to see that creativity come out with the little people, meaning the regular folk. Yet the celebs and stuff, all these people with all this training of talent are sitting home and they're not, they don't, see, I'm sure there are some are, but in generally they're not creating, they're not writing. With all their resources, they're not making incredible little home shows. They're just, when they are filming at home, they're quite boring and uh, uh, no pizzazz to them, no creativity thrown into what they're doing. They're just trying to make sure people don't forget them. Don't forget me. And then we, we also have the false sentiments. Uh, I hate to say it, but like Gal Gadot and them, uh, that whole farce. And it was a farce. Humans can tell, even though we've been conditioned to buy lies um, through generations of being lied to constantly, we also have developed intuitions. And we know when someone's being insincere. In the case with these celebrities and the lack of effort, they even, I mean, they weren't even trying to sing well. <laughs> That's how they didn't even like, you know, clean themselves up a little bit or try to do, no, they just, it was very half-assed. It was just, hey, want to want to get in on 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 some self-advertising, and that's basically what it was, is how th most of us feel. But anyways, the bottom line is, um, and then we got regular folk, and some are being really creative, but a lot of people are not. They're actually just list going to all these celebrities' pages and wasting time listening to that, or they're uh, unfortunately subjecting themselves to too much toxic. Uh, uh, mainstream media, which is 90% lies and very toxic. And in this time, more than any, you don't want to be watching that stuff because it's just this big false countdown to, like with the death tolls and stuff, the numbers are completely stacked. Doctors are coming out saying these numbers aren't real. That You know, if you die, they just say in the hospital, you're automatically put on corn. So all this fishy behavior, all this stuff, um, it's toxic and, 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 and it's all fear-based. Uh, you know, it's really doomsday. I mean, it always was, but now especially when you when you look at anything on mainstream news, whether it's online or on TV, it, they only want to talk about one thing, thing, really, and that's about their agenda and that they're pushing and that they do it with fear. And everything they're telling you is fear-based. So basically this video is to say, turn that shit off. <laughs> Turn off the celebrities. <clears throat> Even turn off the mainstream entertainment for the most part because it's toxic. If you go back and look at all the stuff they've been selling us, very toxic overall. 
I mean, actors lo love to pretend that they're, and some are, I'm not saying none of them are, but like to think that they, and pat themselves on the back, that they think they're illuminating the human condition. But if you really look at what they're doing, they're, they're, se they're selling narratives, toxic narratives, and telling humans this is all we can be. But, and that's why we're always uh, conditioned in, in, to, to, to we're, we're, we're subjected to and conditioned to even want the same stories over and over again. Uh, they don't want new stories. That's why new, all these new fresh voices and, and creative artists, uh, those of us out there, we can't get in because if you're not part of the club, uh, then they're certainly not going to let us, <clears throat> you know, express our creative uh, expression. So, so I recommend you use this time to create. That's what this whole video is about, create. Don't waste it. And and because creating is meditative, first of all. So, and it could be anything. It could be a hobby, whatever it is you do, whether it's gardening. But a lot of people are starting to slip into depression. Uh, I'm, I'm just coming out of depression just for the world to fall apart just as I came, started to come out of it. So for me, it's been an ironic because I was locked, already locked away for a year in isolation. And when I was ready finally, and it was a whole lot of work to pull myself out, and I was broke and ready to step into the world, the whole world went, <clears throat> and now the whole world is locked down too. So it's ironic. <clears throat> um, but I'm sure we could all find so many ironies in our life and, what, and, and the reflections of what's going on in the world. So uh, I'm creating. I've been creating like a madman, and I'm still trying to do so. Um, cause I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be alive in a month, to be honest with you, the way things are going. Watch a, a video of Turkey. They're grabbing any males in their fifties and just violently beating them into vans and quarantining them just because of their age. Um, obviously we do things a little different here. If anything, it would be more of a civilized approach. If it ever got that bad, it'd be po police in black coming to your door and pulling you out of your home or something. Who knows? But to think uh, our own version of that isn't coming, uh, well, they're pushing for it to be coming. So how they're really going to do it, I'm, again, what I'm saying is I'm not worried I'm going to be grabbed on the street, but, uh, and I'm not really worried about myself, period. I just don't know what the future holds for a 50-year-old man who's unemployed and broke and who will not be chipped or vaccinated in a world that's about to make all your choices difficult because it'll all be down to chipping and stuff and vaccinating. It, that's at least how it seems they're going. <clears throat> so a lot of us don't know where we're going to be. I don't know where I'm going to be. So what am I doing? I'm trying to finish all the projects I've been behind on for years and using that this negative. Lemons into lemonade is basically what I'm saying. So get on those projects you've been meaning to do or just those creative things that fulfill you, even if it's not a project. Uh, hobbies, whatever. Do it. Don't let the depression set in. That's where I got sidetracked. I was saying I'm now with the depression setting in and, and you know, I can feel it from others and I can see it online. And it's natural when humans are depressed, the it, once you get really depressed, the, 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 the overall feeling is you don't want to do anything. You don't even want to get out of bed, let alone do anything productive. So I realize a lot of us are fighting that right now. <clears throat> so I uh, can encourage you, just don't let yourself sink too deep into that. And if you do, pull yourself out and uh, get active. First of all, uh, physically, make sure you're getting enough exercise, uh, even if it's up and down your stairs, whatever, or in your backyard, but get exercise. Uh, eat healthy. Don't start slipping into bad eating habits because you're just toxifying your body. And then it can't fight viruses. It can't uh, think. It can't do all kinds of things if you don't treat it right. So, so... Uh, watch your health. Uh, watch your mind. Watch what you're watching online. Don't, don't. I catch myself watching too much toxic news sometimes on occasion when I, when my intention was just to get a, just a beat because I don't really watch the news. But sometimes you get pulled in. And so I've caught myself and been like, geez, I've been on here an hour watching toxic stuff. And I'll pull myself off and say, that's it. No more for the rest of the day. And I'll ban myself. So whatever you got to do to gently police yourself. Uh, in the sense of, or guide yourself, or however you work. We're all coming from different places, or, or finesse yourself, or whatever it takes. But um, every day, 
do things that make you feel good physically, mentally, emotionally. Uh, work towards things you want to get done. It'll make you feel better. Even if it's household chores or just whatever. Yeah, some days it's cool to let them slide. But get on it because if you're taking care of your environment, then you, you feel better. You really will. And you'll be in a better emotional state for, and we all will be if we take care of ourselves right now and do the kind of things I'm suggesting, we'll be in a better state to handle the unknown that's coming. And I don't know it's coming, but I'm sure it will be challenging and scary. <clears throat> so let's go back to your practices, whether it be meditative, artistic, hobbies, you know, whatever it is, whether it's uh, working out, whatever it is that makes you feel you and makes you feel good yeah. get into that and definitely get on the things if, if you've got the time if you know if you're really there's nothing holding you up to do the things you've already put off except you're just not feeling like it then definitely get on it because the universe has given us the time um so i've just realized i kind of noticed a long time ago but i never really really thought about now how crooked my nose really is there huh. <laughs> I wonder if my nose was broken as a child or something without me realizing. Look how crooked that is. Anyways, that was a sidetrack. I'm going to wrap this up now. Um, I love you. I want you to do well. I want you to be well. Don't buy into the fear. If the fear is there. The fear will come. It will keep coming. Manage your fear. Uh, love yourself. Uh, do whatever you got to do to lift yourself up whether it's talking to yourself uh, in positive ways, you know, cheering yourself on, whatever it is, you know, whatever it is, uh, be good to yourself and use this time. We've got the time. We've all been wanting more time. We've got the time now to do some things. I'm definitely working on them. Um, so at the very least, you know, do that. Be happy. Take care of yourself. Love you.